Hi everyone, welcome back. So I've done something that hasn't happened to me in a... I, I don't think it ever did actually happen. I forgot to write in the name, in the notebook, uh, the order. Uh, the client just asked for a simple, nice little bowl and uh, I luckily, I remembered and uh, so I'm just going to before I start on uh, on the cups again I'm just going to make a quick little bowl and uh, so I won't talk too much in this video but you'll see major steps and I'll explain what I'm doing briefly so as always up the top and using scraper I'm going to put tiny little recess to expand the bigger chuck so that's okay in terms of the rim here So I'll have to remove the tenon later, I won't use it as a sort of decorative foot, so I'll just move the camera so you can see what's happening. Here we go, so before anything, throw up the tenon. Bow gouge. And nice push cut. Now that high squeak noise is because it's getting a little bit thinner. I'm just going to remove that. So that's all done in terms of the outside. Just double checking if there is any imperfections. There is a two tiny remnants of a bug hole, but I'm going to sand the outside later. So I have the little foot here. Um, the tenon which I'll grab and uh, so just going to with the scraper finish off here nice and gently and final out just to make a nice Foot. So that's the outside on. I'll sand once I reverse this to remove the foot. So take this off, switch to another chuck again. Now this as you saw from the outside cut, probably will scream quite a bit. So I need to support uh, the cut and everything and actually I need to change the angle so you can see what's happening. So you can hear the so that's just the first cut to remove the unbalance and make a little rim and we can slightly undercut
Okay, that feels like a nice decent cut. I can go slightly deeper. So have this um, really short handle gauge. Now since I'm getting the vibration here, I'm going to use the 16 mil ball gauge. So that worked beautifully and the curve is quite good you see the, the surface so that's done ready for sanding on the inside okay so 120 grit on the inside just a few seconds to smooth everything out let's close the dust hood a little bit side interior nicely done and so now what I want is just flip this around so I can sand the outside so I have this sort of blocks of timber with the tenon on where I can rest the bowl okay so uh, the this non-slip cloth then I put the paper towel because it likes to leach it's like it's wet so I like to put this just to don't stain the, the wood. Okay, that's center enough. So what I'll do is I'll just remove the tenon here and then I'll uh, fill this remnants of the 
of the bug hole. But it's good enough. Now with the spindle gouge I can thin the, the nut just a little bit more. And put a little decoration like this. Now for this I'll sand by hand 180 grit. I use uh, these pliers to just to clip this off. And uh, a little bit of 360. And I usually rotated the ball
and that's it so now I can sign this oil it and uh, it's uh, ready to be sent to customer